Hi friends, my name is Michelle and I'm the Director of Children's Ministries at Las Altas United Methodist Church. Today I'm going to share the story of Queen Esther. I love this story and we're going to be talking about it on Sunday during Sunday School. I'd love for you to join us. You can send me an email to get the login information if you'd like. Now before we begin, I'm going to let you know this story has some very bad people in it. This story also has some very good people in it. We're going to talk about killing people and death in it, but don't worry. The story has a positive ending because of the bravery of Queen Esther. So let's hear it. This is called Esther was a star. Esther was a star, a beautiful Jewish girl chosen by the king of Persia to be his queen. Esther had an uncle named Mordecai who was very kind. When Esther's parents died, he raised her as his own daughter. And when she was made queen, he warned her not to tell the king that she had come from one of his captive lands. And so the king was clueless. He loved Queen Esther, but he did not know she was a Jew. Haman was horrible. He was the king's right-hand man, and he loved nothing as much as pushing people around. He was kind of a bully. One day, Haman was walking through the city when he met some of the king's other servants. Bow before me, horrible Haman commanded. And they bowed, all except for Mordecai. I will bow before no one but God, said Mordecai. Haman was furious and went straight to the king to seek his revenge. Ooh. There is a troublesome race of people in our land, he said, who worship a different god. They are the Jews, your majesty. Give me your permission and I will do away with them. The king was clueless. So he told horrible Haman to kill every Jew in the land not knowing that he was condemning his own queen. When Mordecai heard the news, he went to see Esther. Go to the king, he said, and do what you can to save us. But I have to wait for the king to invite me into his presence, Esther explained. If I go to him without his invitation, the law of the Persians says he has the right to kill me. You must go anyway, said Mordecai, whatever the risk. God puts people in places at just the right time so that they can do what he wants. God has put you in the palace to save your people. Esther was a star. So Esther went to see the king and far from being angry, the king was delighted to see her. What do you want, my darling? He asked. I want to have a dinner party, said Esther, and I want you to invite your right hand man, Haman. The king agreed, the date was set, and horrible Haman was happy. He'd been building a horrible hanging machine in his garden, where he hoped to murder Mordecai. And the queen's invitation made him happier still. Ugh. But when he got to the party, horrible Haman was suddenly not so happy. I have some sad news today, said the queen with tears in her eyes. Someone wants to see me dead, and not only me, but all of my people too. Who is this person? Asked the king. Tell me and he will soon be dead and said, There he is, said Esther, and she pointed at Haman. I don't understand, Haman troubled. I have nothing against you. Yes, you do, said Esther, for I am a Jew and you mean to kill us all. The king was no longer clueless. He saw everything clearly now. He loved his queen. He did not care that she was a Jew, but he was very angry with Haman. Put him to death, the king ordered. And so Haman was hanged on his very own hanging machine. But Esther and Mordecai and all their people lived on, lived on to return to their own land. All because Esther was a star. That story of Esther's love for the Jewish people, all of her family and extended family, and her bravery at standing up to a king and his powerful bully of a right-hand man, Haman. That story changed the world. Um, in the Jewish culture, 
they celebrate Queen Esther every year on Purim, which is a Jewish holiday. You can learn more about it by researching Purim and also by attending Sunday school on Sunday. I can't wait to talk more about Queen Esther and her bravery with you. Bye.